Hello and welcome. This is Sunny and welcome to the series of our Power BI videos and thank you for joining. So today's video is going to focus on two problems and how to solve that with one simple solution. Now, those both of these are very niche problems, so I'm sure this is not going to be the million view video, uh, but let's see. The first problem we're going to solve is where the tab name changes in the Excel file that you have linked to Power BI file, in which case it generates an error whenever you refresh the data, it will just go ahead and tell you it cannot load the data, it cannot find the identifier, the key is bad, it will not load and refresh the data. Second thing is if you want to change the reference of the tab that you're pulling from in the same Excel sheet that is already linked, right? If you just want to pull in from a different tab from the already linked sheet, it did not offer an option to change that. I could not find that. If you found it, let me know, but it does not, uh, at least in what I found. So both of these are problem cases. What can you do? Of course, one solution is go ahead back into get data, pull the second tab, apply the same query or uh, transformation that you did, and then import it and just add it as a separate data source. But in this case, I did not want to add and transform again. I wanted to use the same queries, the same transformation, everything is already done. I just want to simply change the reference of the tab if the name has changed or a different tab within the same sheet. So that is what we're trying to do here in a simple way rather than getting data again. So as always, I like to explain with a little bit of context. So yesterday's example was about the Sunny Point Cafe. Today's context is something different. Today's context is that Sunny Point Cafe has started a new business, which is called Sunny Point Mixers. So it has realized this market opportunity where it could add different mixers into its drink and sell that at an extra cost. So for example, it can add protein boost, vegan boost, nitro boost, and B12 boost. All of these um, cost to the company are some cents, and the strategy is to have at least 100% gross margin and the price is to be from 50 cents to $1.50. So this is a pricing sheet basically, and the tab is called prices. The tab is called prices. We close this. This is already pulled into the uh, new sheet that Sunny Point Mixers is developing. So this is using that sheet. Now, so this is the data. This is gross margin, highest for the vegan boost. Others all are at 100. This is the cost price and menu price of all the boosts. Now, what happens if Somebody goes in and by error or not by error, if you change this tab name and add today's date due to July 19 or basically any change. And if you say save and if you say close. Now, what happens? Next time you refresh, you will get an error. Boom. There you go. The key did not match any rows in the table. Basically, it went again to look at that tab which was called prices, it did not find this error will persist, will persist, will persist after a long time. If you did not figure anything out, you will see that that tab name does not match. So this is the first problem. Second problem, I mean, uh, we're coming to the solution, but both the solutions are the same, so we'll take it together. The second problem could be, let's say you did um, a strategy change and in pricing and instead of changing here you added a new tab with the new pricing so let's say the new strategy is instead of 50 to 150 we have a one dollar to 150 cents in pricing right so let's say for this reason or whatever reason you wanted a new tab and then you wanted to link that new tab now this new tab is called new prices so i would like to change reference from prices to the tab called new prices. If I wanted to do that, I did not find an option to do that um, except changing the file itself. So if you go to data table, if you go to data source settings, you would not get that option. I did not get it. If you also go to edit query and then if you go and find data source settings, it Ask, it allows you to change the file, but in this case, you know, I have the right file. It is that I want to change the tab. It does not give me the option, so that is a problem. Now, the solution to both of this, both of these is very simple. 
what you want to do is you want to click on this button called advanced editor and this will basically show you um, this will basically show you the query that is being pulled in and it, the query will have references to the file being pulled in so and including the tab that is being pulled in so I think and I hope you can see this so what we will do is it, let the query uh, begin so it says source equal to Excel workbook and which Excel workbook file and which file the contents of this file so this is the pathway this is the name of the Excel file and then it goes into prices see this prices that is the name of the tab so instead of prices I am gonna say new prices we have to just edit wherever the reference is to prices um, instead of prices I can do new prices I I wish there was a control H here it is not so kind sheet promoted hairs and then prices we'll say new prices okay that is all you gotta do instead of the name just change the tab name done and what happens here the data is already the new data if you can see the menu prices are already starting at one means the data has refreshed there are no errors we will close and apply um, I hope you can see this you can uh, close and apply and you go back here and boom the lowest price is one dollar the highest price is 150 uh, the gross margin is now 900 percent from 800 oh, sorry 500 percent and again if you say refresh there is no error it is done so now um, again just to check if you go in and let's say do this to margin of protein would be 300 percent so that's one sorry I'm so sorry uh, we're putting the new one in the new tab new prices if the protein margin instead of 300% is 400% so protein price is 1.25 now close this save this go back to BI now this is the protein price currently at $1 the second column you hit um, refresh it refreshes and boom 1.25 so now it's doing everything correct so that was a quick uh, solution again maybe it you may have a better solution or may, there may be a better solution out there if you have it please let me know in the comments and if um, somebody else has it and you find out still let me know in the comments so that we know in this case I was not able to find out first of all what was the reason of the error then I found it then I was like how do I change it and then I found out what was the easiest way to change it if you want all the transformation to stay the query to stay the same only thing if you changed so if the data structure stayed the same and there is only a new tab to be pulled in or the red tab has to be renamed again just go into the data view do the edit query and go into the advanced editor and then change the references so I hope um, that was clear and I know as I said this is a quite niche problem maybe but let me know if your thoughts and if you found this video helpful definitely like it and share in your feed I mean this is not again <laughs> the video that everybody uses so it's kind of I guess people will find it when they exactly need this with this keyword so again if you would like me to cover something else about Power BI what uh, specifically if you have something in mind that I should cover let me know in the comments or any other social media channels that you're connected with and I will definitely make sure to make a video on that. Thank you for listening and joining in and have a nice day. Goodbye.